What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 90 overall team of the season so far, Elks. And I'm going to tell you what, he's unbelievably cheap. An 83 overall, that has to be included with a team of the season or an informed player, which roughly is around 50k. So I'll tell you what, 50k for this card and what he looks like on like the stats wise, looks unbelievable. 94 pace, 89 dribbling, 92 shooting, 84 passing and 89 physical. He is 5 for 11 for a striker. It's not the greatest height, but it's one of those occasions where if his dribbling is high enough, it's not going to matter. The high medium work rates are the perfect attacking work rates. Four star skill moves is always going to be nice to have, and a four star weak foot. Finally, EA are actually releasing four star four stars and not three star three stars. Now, he is on a sniper chem style, he is on 10 chem. 99 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. This is sometimes what I like to see. I don't like to see it the other way around where you go 99 sprint speed and 88 acceleration. No. I like to see this acceleration really quick. Yeah, I understand they are going to slow down. But the thing is, you can do those little fake shots around the corners that give you that, that boost of acceleration again. He has got 97 attack and positioning, 99 finishing with the 99 shot power. He has the chip shot trait, but no outside foot shot or finesse shot. He has got 86 long shots, 99 volleys and 99 penalties as well. 89 vision, 77 crossing, 92 free kick accuracy, 86 short passing, 75 long passing and 87 curve. Passing wise, he doesn't look too bad. It looks like he's going to be struggling doing the overtop through balls. But other than that, just a little tick attack of play. The 1 2 should be perfect. 97 agility, 90 balance, 91 reactions, 94 ball control, 97 dribbling, and 92 composure. This is what I mean. Yeah, he is 5 for 11, but if his dribbling is good enough, the height is never going to matter. Even if you're like 6 foot 3, 6 foot 2, I've reviewed some 6 foot 3 players that have really high dribbling and they don't feel 6 foot 3 at all. Now, jumping wise, he has 89 uh, jumping with 87 heading actually, him being 5 for 11. I would say he'll out head of 6 foot 1 and below. He has got 93 stamina as well, which means lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes shouldn't be a problem. 90 strength is actually always going to be nice for a striker because. If I'm in a tight situation, I can actually act, like, I can actually uh, shield off the player fairly easily. And it's just going to allow me to pretty much buy time to find a wide open pass. This guy does have the bulky body uh, bulky body type in game as well. So that's something I don't really like the bulky body as a striker. You get into a lot of contact contact situations. And for me personally, I don't really need people to get into contact contact situations simply because I just like to do my little scoop turns. I like to do my little skill moves and I try to avoid those situations. Now, he has 79 aggression, which means, you know, winning the 50-50s aren't going to be great. Now, he is not from the greatest nationality for links wise and not from the greatest league for uh, link wise. So I actually went out my way to, uh, to help my way to get this elipment. From icon swaps, yes, I have been grinding icon swaps, and I got this Lipman, and obviously we still have Pele. Now, obviously that that put him on full cam, and most likely you will see these two in most of my reviews today and tomorrow. I've also got likes of Dharma, Neymar, and Gustavo in the team. I will be using Elkson in a 4-4-2, playing him up front probably with Neymar, but I low-key want to try him in that lone striker role, so I will play him in a 4-2-3-1 a as well. But let's get into the games. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is just test how, how agile he is on the ball, and I'll tell you what, he seems quite agile, but I can already tell he's got like a Santi Cazola kind of body type, and that is something I don't enjoy. Elkson on the ball. Little turn. Oh, that's beautiful. With the left foot. Not the greatest shot. Something I can say. I didn't put a lot a lot of power into that at all. And honestly, I thought he was going to go at least on target. But it's one of those occasions where it's the first shot. I'm going to leave it as that. Elkson. Little hill to hill. Great turn. Can I get a finish? Yes, I can. That is a beautiful shot into the far corner. But what a turn that was. For a person that has the bulky body, I did not expect this kind of turning ability, especially when being close to someone. And the fact that he's turned Sergio Ramos is even better. Littman. Delkson. Great turn. Oh, that's beautiful. Can I get a shot? Oh, not the greatest shot, but I think something I can say. If he had the outside foot shot trait there, that ball's flying in, especially with that right foot. My God, the keeper would have no chance. But because he doesn't have that trait, it made him shoot with his left foot. And for me, that's never going to go in with that left foot. Neymar. Elkson. I'm actually going to fake shot in because I see he's not covering it. But Elkson just taking too long to take the shot. That is so disappointing because I feel like that shot could have been hit 10 times earlier. And he would have actually got that shot away. And most likely he would have gone into the back of the net. But it's one of those occasions where he took too long and it just got blocked pretty much. 
Kill the hill. Little acceleration. That's amazing. Can I get that early shot? I should have probably gone for a finesse there. It would have been a better angle. Because he did bring end up bringing out the keeper a little bit. Which is, you know, a bit disappointing. But I'll tell you what. He's positioning and that fake shot around the corner. The acceleration that he got off it was really good. Dummy. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No. I wanted that little extra fake shot to get that across goal pass just so I can get an angle for the wide open like wide open pass pretty much. But it was one of those occasions where I literally couldn't get around him. And, you know, Elkson, I would say he's fast. His acceleration is good, but it's not, not, top, it's not top tier, if you know what I mean. Elkson. Oh, come on. Oh, that was beautiful as well. Like, his positioning where he wanted the ball was absolutely spot on. His turning ability there we should have sent that guy, but my, my opponent did really, really well with Sergio Ramos to actually read it. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Team of the season, Varane getting sent like that. Come on now. That's exactly what I needed to do to Sergio Ramos. But I don't know, Sergio Ramos is like more, he's like better in transition than Varane. So I feel like Ramos can actually keep up with, with uh, Elkson. But it's one of those situations where I don't think anyone would have kept up with him there. Elkson. Full drag back. Full roll out. That is one thing I'm always going to love. You see how he went into that contact to contact situation, right? The thing is, because he's got the high strength, he's not going to get bodied off there. Now, if Neymar was in that situation, he's getting bodied, he's going to the floor, or he's, you know, getting put off balance somehow. But the fact is, Elkson's, because he has that strength, he's got that bulky body, in that situation, he's not getting bodied. I can do the ball roll, I can cut back, get the angle for the shot, and once again, it is a beautiful finish. With a little fake shot, there you go. Ball roll out, turning again. Hard drag back, absolutely sending it for a hot dog. I did too much and everyone knows it. I should have just gone for the finesse shot towards the far corner when I had the chance right there. As soon as I did that half drag back, I was doing a bit too much, thinking that he had the outside foot shot trade because if he did there, it would have been a 10 times better shot. But once again, him, hit, him hitting it with his left foot, apparently can't speak today. Him hitting it with his left foot is not the greatest. The one, two. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's all we're waiting for. The little skill move absolutely sending the defender for a hot dog. But what a finish it is into that far corner. Literally everything was perfect there. The passing option, the skill move, the finish, the keeper had no chance. So it is time to review him. And let me say, this card is actually not too bad. I loved his dribbling on the ball. I loved how, you know, his shot was actually pretty decent with the right foot. With the left foot, though, it's a bit of a problem, I can tell you that. But two games played, four goals, it's not too bad. Five for 11, I didn't find that an issue at all. He actually seemed a bit smaller in game, which was interesting. The high medium work rates put him in a perfect position every single time. He knew when to come short. He knew when to pretty much make the run. The four-star skill moves, I would say the Burber spin was probably my favourite simply because he had the bulky body in game and it allowed me to put the bulky body in front uh, well, like while doing the Burber spin in front of the centre-back and just simply shielded, shielded him off. Now, the four-star Weaver did not feel like a four-star at all. If anything, I would definitely advise finessing with it, not power shotting it with it, simply because if you power shot with it, the ball goes into Narnia, and I just don't know what to say anymore. Now, pace-wise, he's actually pretty fast. One thing I did see is you have to do a lot of fake shots to get that acceleration going, because when he comes into the sprint speed, he does get caught up, and that was the biggest problem I was actually having with him, simply because I would do the fake shot, then all of a sudden, he would slow down a lot and just allow like a team of season uh, Varane or a team of season Ramos to pretty much catch up to him. As I said, shooting with the right wasn't actually too bad, but shooting with the left foot, uh, don't do it. If you're going to do it, finesse shot, please. Passing wise, he was actually a pretty good one to a little, you know, quick passing plays. But when it came down to overtopping the ball, he was actually quite inconsistent at it, I would say. I wouldn't say he was consistent at it because I did it a few times and it didn't work. But there was other times that it did work. So, you know, it's more of a 50-50 gamble if you try to do it. Now, dribbling-wise, he's actually an insane dribbler. One thing I don't like about him, though, is that he gets into a lot of contact-to-contact -contact situations because of that bulky body. And most of the time, we're playing up against Virgil van Dijk, Team of Season Varane, Team of Season Ramos. You know, all those strong players that pretty much have 99 strength. So, 
he is going to lose it, especially him only having 90 strength and 90 balance. It's not going to be one of those occasions where he's going to, you know, body them players off. But I tell you what, if you can avoid that contact to contact situation, he can do the little twists and turns inside the box and he will find you a wide open chance. Stamina White, he did last throughout the whole 90 minutes. Strength, as I said, there was some uh, centre backs that he did body, but there was other centre backs he didn't. Aggression, I believe it was 79. He did not fight for the ball at all. When he lost it, that ball was gone. He did not fight for for the ball. Literally, he, there was no there was no passion. There was no fighting for the badge in this player. But we do have to give him a rating out of ten. I am gonna give him an eight out of ten. I don't believe he deserves higher than that because his left foot was really really disappointing. And obviously, the bulky body is not the greatest thing in game. But he's a good player. He is. He, like get onto his right foot, the ball's going into the back of the net. Now, if there's one player I would compare him to. I would compare him to a Santi Gazzola. He definitely feels like Santi. He definitely looks like Santi. And he's pretty much got the same dribbling as Santi Gazzola. So, them two very, very similar players. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.